What's up and welcome to One Take. I'm Gil and today I want to talk about a news story that seems to pop up every few weeks and that's the prospect of Tom Hardy's Venom facing off against Tom Holland's Spider-Man. And the reason this is popping up today is because Fandom.com recently interviewed Ruben Fleischer who directed the first Venom movie and he's currently making the rounds promoting Zombieland 2. He had this to say when asked about Spider-Man and Venom meeting. That's where it's all going to lead. And that's the exciting thing, because we changed the origin of Venom. In the comics, he evolved from Spider-Man. But because of the Marvel-Sony thing, we weren't able to do that. And so the thing I think it's building towards, and will be exciting to see, is when they actually do confront each other. Now, this isn't the first time that people involved in the production of these movies commented on the crossover as though it's something pretty likely to happen in the future. In fact, Kevin Feige recently said it's pretty likely. Now, if I'm trying to predict what a movie studio is going to do, the first thing I ask myself is, is it going to make them money? And it seems obvious that taking Spider-Man and Venom, crossing them over in a movie, that's going to make Sony and Marvel a bunch of money. The question is, Will it make them more money than they're currently making with the status quo? Meaning Sony's making money off their Venom movies. Sony and Marvel are both making money off these Spider-Man movies. Will they make more money by combining those two characters? And I don't think the answer is an obvious yes. My feeling is that there's probably a pretty big overlap between the people who go see Spider-Man movies and the people who go see Venom movies. So when you combine the two characters, it's not like you're taking two separate audiences and combining them to get a bigger box office draw than you would with solo movies. And I don't think that one character will give the other character a bump. For example, if the Venom movies were struggling and Sony wanted to pick up the box office for them, you could see why they'd want to pull Spider-Man into the next movie. But if you look at the box office, Venom made $856 million versus Spider-Man Far From Home, which made $1.1 billion. And I think it's fair to say that Far From Home got a little bit of a bump because people also saw it as sort of an epilogue to Avengers Endgame. So I think a more fair comparison would be Spider-Man Homecoming, which made $880 million, much closer to the Venom box office. Having said that, it's clear that taking characters from solo movies and crossing them over into an event film can be a major box office draw. You look at any of the Avengers movies, and they consistently make much more at the box office than the solo movies that their characters originate from. So I think Sony will definitely see that potential and want to create an event movie of their own. But I just don't think that Spider-Man and Venom alone are enough to do that. Now, if you look at Sony's current slate of movies they have in production, besides Venom, they have several other Marvel characters they want to make movies about. The one that's furthest along in production is Morbius, but they also have Black Cat, Craven the Hunter, and one they've bounced around for a while now is Sinister Six. So they could very well release a few other solo movies and then do a big crossover event where it's not just Spider-Man versus Venom, but it's Spider-Man versus Venom versus Morbius versus Craven the Hunter, maybe versus Black Cat. They could also go the route of having a couple of factions fighting against each other. All of Sony's movies tend to focus on anti-heroes. So maybe a few of those anti-heroes lean a little bit more towards the hero side of things to team up with Spider-Man. Whereas maybe a few of the other characters form a sort of Sinister Six. And then you have an interesting group of heroes against a group of villains. Speaking of Sinister Six, if Sony uses this as an opportunity to reboot some of the villains that general audiences are more familiar with, like Doc Ock or Green Goblin, that could be one more ingredient that makes this event film a big box office draw for more than just people who are interested in a Spider-Man or Venom movie. So the bottom line is that it seems pretty clear from the way people are talking that we're heading towards some kind of a crossover between Spider-Man and Venom. But at least my opinion is that it's not simply going to be a Spider-Man Venom movie, but somehow 
Sony and or Marvel are going to find a way to make that a major event movie that really draws in general audiences. But enough about my opinion. What do you think about all this? Do you think we're going to see a Spider-Man Venom crossover anytime soon? Do you want to see that crossover? And would you rather see it in the MCU or would you like to see it on Sony's side of things in the Venom universe? Let me know in the comments and let's get a discussion going. And if you enjoyed if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the little bell icon to make sure you get notifications whenever we release more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.